Hello friends and welcome to Android implementation. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to implement a splash screen in your Android application in a best possible manner. So before that, having a splash screen or not is a long debate and uh, we won't be getting into that point in this video. Instead, we'll just consider that, yeah, you have an app screen in your, in, in a splash screen in your app and you have to implement it so this is what you will uh, if suppose this is what your designer has given you it's not too fancy but yeah just consider an example this is how a typical splash screen looks like so there's a single color in the background and or maybe uh, an image and there's your logo in the center so this is uh, this is what a typical splash screen looks like so you just go ahead and implement it in this in this way so this is my demo project in which i have a splash activity uh, i have made a layout in which there's a linear layout with center gravity and I have my image view with the drawable of the splash screen. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I don't have drawables for my resources but for my screen sizes but this is the single drawable. Um, okay so this is what you will do and uh, looks good everything you have just um, added an activity in your manifest it will be the first activity that will be running. So let's check what is the problem with this implementation. Okay, so if I don't know if you have noticed or not, but there's a there is a white screen which is coming in when you open the application. So this is the delay that that has been taken by the application to inflate your activity splash layout, splash screen layout. So inflating this layout takes time. Until then you see a white background which is definitely not a good good indication you know if uh, uh, having a good app you really need to take care of this small specifications so let's just go ahead and make simplify the code so that this white screen that that's been viewed can be can be ignored and you can directly feel like the app has immediately opened as soon as you click the app launch icon so uh, what what we'll be doing is this just instead of having okay so what the basic architecture implementation is before this only the activity is open and then the layout is inflated so we'll just go ahead and make a theme uh okay let's just create this theme so the splat screen has a different scheme let's, let's say splash screen theme so we'll just create this theme styles And the pattern to this theme is whatever you are, you have your standard. So I have this standard pattern. So I'll just consider. I'll just extend it, and you just need to add this tag in your theme. That is Android Windows background. Yeah. So this is what you have to add. And what you can do is you can instead of layouting having a layout and then in that you you give a parent layout in which you have an image you that is at, at the center gravity what you could do is the theme of this activity so whenever this activity is, load, is loaded firstly the activity is loaded and the layout is then being inflated over it so instead we give a background to the activity in the themes so here is what I will give a drawable which will be having our splash layer so that is what we have to create right now so let's just go ahead and create a splash layer and in this we will having two stuff one is like our layout is there we have one that is our parent element which has the background and second one which is an image that is a bitmap which is center line. So let's just create two items. First one is the item drawable in which you just add the color of the splash background. So you have done the first part that is this part. You have created a layout which has the color to it. Oh, sorry. You can keep it this way. And let's have the second item which is a bitmap. 
and then you can just add the splash to it and give okay but you have to give a gravity to this which is you can have it this way bottom center so we just as per our design we need it at the bottom so yeah so what we have exactly done is we have create given the first layer which has a background and we have given a second layer which holds the bitmap which is in gravity center so this is exactly what we have given here so with this we create a drawable which looks similar to this and now in the styles theme what we do is a splat screen theme will have a window background window background is the background which we see uh, which we saw at the loading that's the window background and which by default has white color so now when we so this white is the window background so we just what we do is we create a lay, similar layout to it and we load this so once we have done that we definitely don't need to inflate the layout we can just skip this part okay so we are not lay, inflating any layout instead we just give the drawable from the themes we give that drawable and we add it to the activity window background so let's just run this Cool. So now you can see that even though we don't have any layout inflated, we can see the exact image, exact layout that we wanted. So what we did is, again, we we just ap applied a theme in which we directly gave a background. Instead, what we could do is, you can have any other color here. Suppose you wanted this color here. So if you add an, an ascent color here, so when you whenever it will be loading, it will be completely in the pink color that has been mentioned here. So this is the very easiest way to do it. Again, let's just make a working example as in suppose this is the layout screen that has been loaded and you add your loading initialization code that is the code that comes here. Okay, so we just what we do is, is end i equals to zero i less than two thousand i plus plus this happen and then what you do is you intent okay. let's just do it start activity you intent this comma mean activity dot class and let's just finish this so this is what that typically has i've just added a dummy loop but this, the, here's what your initialization code will be so let's just run this and we just do a quick run cool perfect so this is our most real-time example and you, it looks so optimized as in that you whenever you touch the application it looks like the app has been loaded though it's, instead it is running the logic that you have but it, it doesn't give the user that feeling that the app has been stuck or that app is doing something in background so yeah this is a small very small point but it definitely gives a value to your app and give a level of professionalism so go ahead and use it and let me know your what if any issues you have uh, do drop me any comments and I'll, I'll get back to you in the best possible way um, thanks and all the best